Hey guys, what's up? It's Carl back with another quick video as we just got into the studio with some of the new Apple goodies from the Spring Loaded event. So of course you can see in front of me, this was maybe the most unexpected thing that dropped. This is just the standard iPhone 12. I've actually got the iPhone 12 mini. I've seen everyone online post the standard size in of course purple. I am bringing you hopefully the first 12 mini video in of course that new purple colorway. And I do love how sometimes Apple makes the biggest deal for coming out with a new colorway, but we all know how many Apple fanboys there are craving perhaps for that new purple. I'm a big fan of purple. I've got my purple wallpaper. Let's get into the unboxing, see what you're gonna get. But if you've already watched an iPhone unboxing in the past, you know exactly what you're gonna get. So quickly taking off this plastic, but if this happens to be the first time you're unboxing an iPhone, you'll see how thin the box is. I think Apple has made a really great push towards being carbon neutral, taking the necessary steps. So they've said, or they've claimed reducing the package sizing, of course, not including a charging brick inside will help them achieve that. I'm kind of sometimes on a mixed bag between that because we have cheaper devices that include say a 60 watt supercharger and Apple still charges the same premium price. So $699 or $999 or $979 if you're up here in Canada for the 12 mini. If we take a look at what we got, purple box and the purple phone. So I would actually say, I'm not a color expert, this is maybe a bit more of a lilac color. It's definitely a bit more on the lighter end. Maybe we're kind of getting our spring colors, but that is the phone. Inside of the box, like I mentioned, same unboxing experience from the standard 12 line. So we've got designed by California in Apple. We had to include that. User manuals, warranty info, and the Easter egg that would make sense as Easter was upon us. No purple Apple sticker. You're just getting the standard white one there. No surprises there. And then we've of course just got the standard lightning to USB-C cable and that is it. And kind of quickly looking around. So this is kind of the purple banding around the outsides. So the standard iPhone 12, 12 mini has the aluminum edges. If you upgrade to of course the pro models. So I'm gonna quickly grab mine over here. My 12 Pro Max is still my daily driver. I choose this solely for the battery life. And that's one thing that I've noticed using say the standard 12 or even the mini. The mini is the worst because it's the smallest. I struggle to get battery life by the end of the day if you're using the 12 mini. Even the standard 12, which is slightly bigger, sadly does not last till the end of the day. But I do know a lot of people love the mini sizes. They love the small form factor. They love the compactness. Hey Siri, what are synonyms for small? Little, minor, modest, pocket-sized, pocket-sized, small-scale, humble, low, lowly, minuscule, belittled, or diminished. All of those things perhaps describe the 12 mini. And as this kind of boots up, just to reiterate some of the specs, just in case this is the first time you're grabbing this, of course, the 5.4 inch Super Retina XDR display. That's found across the entire iPhone 12 line the A14 Bionic, which is kind of shared across the entire line. So if you're really looking for value, the 12 mini is the one to get. You're saving that extra little bit of money. I wouldn't say the features that the Pro has over the standard 12 or mini are justified for that price difference. Like I mentioned, the only reason why I'm using this is solely for that battery life. So if you're able to charge this daily, if you're able to kind of recharge it during the day, as I'm sure most of us can as we're stuck working from home, then obviously the mini might be the one for you. It's nice, small and compact. Siri mentioned its pocket size, which I think is pretty true. It's one of the only things Siri seems to get right. But before we wrap up this video, I know we got another purple phone launched this year. It was a flagship as well. You see it over my shoulder. It is the S21 from of course, Samsung. And I quickly just want to compare the purples. And to be honest, I would say they're pretty similar. The purple on the S21, that's a bit more metallic. Technically, this is actually a plastic back offered from Samsung to help keep the cost down. Whereas on the iPhone, it's completely glass. Curious which purple you guys prefer. I do kind of like though the two-tone on the Samsung, how it's got the gold banding around the outsides. But of course, 
we wouldn't see anything like that from Apple. As you can see, it's one hour until all the data transfers for my 12 Pro Max. I am not gonna wait that long. By the time that happens, hopefully this video will be up. On deck, we also have AirTags, which also came in. So I've got the four pack and of course some of the accessories. So if you have any other questions, let me know down below in the comments. We'll hopefully get to that video next. So make sure you sub to the channel. Like this video if you did, sub if you did. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.